Welcome to Selwyn Tech Topics. This is the fourth video of the iPad playlist. Today we're going to take a look at using the calendar app. To begin, open up the calendar app. The first thing to note is that there are four different views within the calendar. You'll see there up at the top your selection and you can move around between the different views as often as you like. There's day specific, you can see a whole week, month, or year. For today I'm going to use the month view. In the month view you can tap and hold on your screen and scroll up and down to see previous dates and future dates. Today's date happens to be Monday, July 13th, and you can see that that date has been highlighted in the red bubble, so making it fairly easy to find today. What we're going to look at specifically in using the calendar is how to add events. So let's say we wanted to add an event for later today. Today has already been selected, it's highlighted in red. So I'm simply going to tap on the plus icon in the top right hand corner. And this little box appears with some information we need to fill in. So I have to tell it first, what is the title of this event? What am I adding into my calendar? Well, maybe I have a coffee date. Go ahead and tap that in. Location is optional. Next, I have to set a time, at a minimum, at least when the event starts. So because I've already selected today, it has July 13th in there, I simply have to tap on the time. So right now it says 2 p.m. So I'm going to tap on 2 p.m. And these are all roll, like a scroll. So if I tap and hold on the screen, I can scroll through my numbers. So maybe my coffee date is tonight at 7.30 p.m. So that's been done. I'm going to go ahead now and tap on starts there on the left to close up that menu. By default, the end has been an hour later. The end time is not particularly crucial. Um, it's more that start time, especially if you're putting a reminder on that event. Then it asks whether or not this is a repeat event. If it is, so maybe I go for a coffee date every Monday night. I could select every week and it will go ahead and put that in the calendar every Monday at 7.30. Or maybe I go every month, um, every month, and it will put that in. So it just depends whether or not this is a repeat event. I'm gonna say never. Travel time, I'm not going to fill that in. And then here, alert. This is uh, a really nice feature because your a device will actually um, chime or make a sound um, based on this alert. So if I tap on alert, now I can choose how much in advance I want a reminder of this event. So I want say maybe one hour. So if I say one hour before, and I can type in a second alert if I choose to. But that's kind of all I need to do on a very basic level. Give it a date, a start time, and the alert, and then tap on add here in the top right hand corner. And that has added that event to my calendar. Very similar steps to adding an event coming up in the future. So maybe I have a workshop of some kind online coming up in August. So I can go ahead and start by tapping on the date. So maybe it's Wednesday, August 19th. 
sorry, I misspoke there. I don't, I do not tap on the date. I go right to that plus sign to add a new event. So tap on the plus icon in the top right hand corner, give the event a name. So this is an online workshop. And then again, so my start date is, what did I say, Wednesday, August 19th. So now this also works on a wheel that scrolls just like the time. And I'm going to say it's in the morning. It's going to be at 10 a.m. in the morning. Tap on the word starts to collapse that, make it go away. It's not going to repeat. And again, I want an alert, but this time I want an alert one week before as a bit of a reminder. And then tap on add up there in the top right hand corner. And now you can see here that event has been added to Wednesday, August the 19th. So that's just the basics, kind of the bare minimum to get you using your calendar app and adding in events with reminders. So hopefully that helps navigate this app a little bit more easily. Have fun and good luck.